Do you want to make your agent smarter than it is already? Well, let me show you how to trigger a workflow based on a user action. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to the job form. My name is George. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to initiate a workflow based on a user action. Now this can be done by several options, including a button, a user phrase, a user keyword, maybe trigger it by a sentiment. Well, there's several ways that we can trigger a workflow based on several options that we have available here on job form agents. Now let's get started. Now this is my job form dashboard and we are currently located in workspaces. That means that we're able to view everything that's going on on job form, including forms, apps, agents, uh, tables, etc. All will be available right here. Now, if you want to jump into agents, click on the top menu right here. But the first thing that we're going to need is actually a workflow that we're going to use to initiate with our agent. So let's create a workflow with a template really quickly to use it on our agent. Okay. So we're going to get started by creating a workflow. In this case, I want to use a template and there's several templates available here. I want to use this one right here. That would be a hypothetical use case. In this case, I want to trigger a customer ticket escalation workflow template. So let's go ahead and use this template right here. And once you select it, it's going to open up the workflow builder. In this case, we can go ahead and modify every single aspect of this to understand how the workflow works and we can use it on our agent. That means that in this case, the form is a CRM support ticket form and it's going to trigger this workflow. So now we have a workflow. So let's go back into job form and we are going to go into agents. So let's go into my agents and we're going to select the agent that we want to use this for. In this case, I'm going to create a new agent. I want to have a simple platform for this and I'm going to use standalone. Let's go ahead and use a template for this too. And I'm going to use this customer support agent. Okay, here we go. So now we have a support agent. This one is called Maya and we're going to go into train. We're going to go into actions and this is where we're going to trigger the action to initiate the workflow. Okay. Now, first off, you have the first option here, which is selecting the channels that this action is going to work with. And in this case, for example, all channels, that means that even if it's a phone call, it'll trigger it. If it's a voice, if it's a messenger, etc. Maybe you just want to have it for your chat bot. Well, just go ahead and select it here and it will only work on the chat bot, right? Now, when something happens, it's going to trigger, then it's going to do the action and the action is going to be the workflow. But in this case, we want to work with the trigger first. And one of the ways is when a conversation starts and that might not be a ideal for this situation. When a user wants to, now this could be a really good use case. And you can say when the user wants to open up a ticket or maybe he's complaining, then we go ahead and action the workflow. Okay. So I'm going to say if the user wants to create a ticket, create a ticket. So that means that when the user wants to create a ticket, it's going to trigger the workflow. Now, the way that user wants to works is that AI is going to take care of the situation. And if the user has a situation where they want to create a ticket, it'll do the action. That means that they don't have to type in exactly create a ticket or I want a ticket. If it has to do with the situation, it'll be smart and do the action. Okay. Now the action is to trigger a workflow and here it is trigger workflow with form. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to select the workflow that I want to use for this situation. And we're going to use the one that we just created, which is customer ticket escalation. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. And we have our first action. Be aware that you can create several actions and yes, you can do also several steps in order for the action to work. Now, in this case, I'm going to keep it simple and it's a user intent. So let's go ahead and preview this AI agent right now. And we are going to start chatting with it and we are going to ask for a support ticket. Okay, so here we go. I have the option to trigger the form right here or I can just go ahead and chat with it right now. So let me go ahead and ask a few things. Okay, so first one, what type of support do you provide? And I'm just chatting with it, all right? So here we go. What FAQs do you have? Remember, I haven't mentioned anything about a ticket, right? The next question will be asking for a ticket, all right? So um, I need to create a ticket for help, all right? So that should be triggering the workflow right now, okay? And here we go. So to get started, it's asking for, for the full name. In this case, let me go ahead and add my name and we're going to go through the process of filling out the form for the support ticket in this case. Okay. So email address, I'm just going to say test at test.com and we're going to continue with the form. So give me a few seconds to fill this out.
Okay, we should be good to go. Let me go ahead and finish off with the last question. There we go. Let's go ahead and review and submit. Okay, here we go. Here's the form that we've just filled out. We're able to make some changes if that is needed. In this case, we're good to go. I like how it is and I want to open up that support ticket. So let's go ahead and submit it. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Your submission has been received. Okay, so we've just triggered the workflow. So let's go ahead and, and get on out of here of the preview. Let's go back into job form. Let's go into our workflows. Here it is. Here it is. Let's go ahead and view the inbox. And here we go. We have our first workflow submitted and it's going through the process for that workflow. So it's getting started. Do we need to assign a developer, assign salesman, deny, etc.? And remember, this was created with the template that we've just used. Okay. So now we have that workflow triggered. That's one of the ways that you can trigger, initiate the workflow. Let me show you another way. So let's go back into our agent. Let's go into edit the agent. Let's go to train. And I can go ahead and remove this action since I want to show you a different way. Now, since we've added the first action, it knows that we want to use that form in the workflow. So you'll find that form right here. Here it is, CRM support ticket form. Okay, so we're back into actions. Let me show you a different situation to initiate the workflow. So again, we're gonna be asked for the channels and I'm going to leave it all channels in this case. So it will work with any situation in those channels when the win is triggered, okay? So the trigger, we use right now the user wants to and the user wants to is like, I am requesting, I want to open up a ticket. So it's like a really clear situation where the user wants to, wants to create a ticket and it initiates the workflow. That means that the AI is gonna take that situation. It's like the user intent wants this. The other way would be a user talks about. So I could be talking about different situations and, and mentioning tickets. You know what, it should be great if it's wherever it's created support ticket. Well, that is going to trigger the support ticket. So in this case, if the user speaks about a support ticket, that is going to trigger that workflow. And it's just, this is a situation where we're going to create a support ticket, but in different situations, it could be a different workflow that you want to trigger. It doesn't have to be exactly about a support ticket. So let's go ahead and try it out. So in this case, I'm going to say, talks about support ticket, right? And then the action, again, we are going to trigger the workflow with a form. So let's go ahead and trigger this one. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and go into preview. And again, you would continue with the chat as you would normally, but in this case, I'm going to say it would be cool if we can create a support ticket. So again, this is different as the past one. The other one is like, I want a support ticket. And here we go. It just triggered the workflow right now. It's asking for the name, the email address. I'll just skip all these for purchasing purposes. Okay, and the ticket. So we're gonna do a reported bug, etc., and just continue with this situation. Now you can see how that is different in this case. Let's go ahead and remove this action. Let's go again, keep all channels. We're gonna go when. In this case, we're gonna do a different situation when the user sentiment is, and this is how the user is feeling. That means that if they're happy, if they are mad, if they're angry, etc., then we can trigger the action. So I could just say if the user sentiment is angry, then we're going to trigger the workflow. Again, select the workflow here. Let's go ahead and save it. And this could be a situation when, where the user is angry and we trigger the initiation of a workflow so someone can take care of that situation based on the workflow. So in this case, for example, I would say, I am so mad that I can't get great service. So that is a sentiment, I am angry, and that should trigger the workflow right now. And here it is. It's now asking for my name, the, e the last name, I'm going to skip it, the email address, skip it, and here we go. You can see this is the support ticket form that is starting off to initiate the workflow based on sentiment. So again, let me go to remove this one. Let's go into the when again. And they, let me show you a different one. For example, the user provides, and it could be, for example, 
if the user provides a ticket number, a series of letters and numbers, etc., the, the user provides something. In this case, I could be select their email, their full name, their phone number, and it could trigger the workflow. It might not be the great use case scenario, but that's an idea. I mean, maybe if they don't provide the email, then we don't continue that. Maybe that's a, an idea that you want to use. Let's go here. The sentence contains, and this one is, it contains the words in a sentence. So it could be a super long sentence. And in that sentence, it contains specific words that you set right here and it will trigger the workflow. So for example, the keyword can be ticket or support. And just by saying that word, it's going to trigger that workflow. So let's say I'm going to say in this case, pop up, all right, just strange word, just for testing purposes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and trigger the workflow, let's trigger this one. Let's go to save it. Here we go. Let's go to preview this. And again, I have the agent speaking to me. I go to continue and I'm going to say pop up, which should trigger the workflow. There we go. It just started. So it's asking for the name, etc. And we're going to continue because it triggered the workflow. Go ahead and delete this. And as you can see, there's several ways that we can initiate a workflow on agents. So I hope you like this video. Please let me know here in the comments what you think about initiating workflows with your agent and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that is a wrap.